Good girl. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. Today's video is all about how you can save money on parrot supplies and care. Now I'm sure many of us know that providing the best care for our parrots can be really expensive. It all adds up with the toys and the food, cages, cleaning equipment, exactly pickles. So today I'm gonna to offer you some tips as to how you can try and save a few pennies with all of the parrot care and supplies. Now you may already know a lot of these tips and if you do, brilliant for you, fantastic, because it all does add up. But I wanted to share these with you just in case you don't know them because they can be really helpful and you can save some money and hopefully maybe even treat yourself for a change because if you're anything like me, I pretty much spend all of my money on my birds. <laughs> it's not often that I spend money on myself. So if you can save a few pennies here and there, then do treat yourself because you deserve it. I also wanted to very quickly mention that it would be amazing if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I looked at my analytics the other day and only about 10% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed and I make loads of different kinds of content whether it's parrot care or things about my vision impairment or just birds in general so if you're really interested in that kind of stuff it would be amazing if you could join in the community and subscribe. So one of the ways that you can easily save money with your birds if you're looking to give them the best kind of diet is to grow your own fruits, vegetables and herbs but of course you have to have a garden for that. I don't have a garden at the moment and um, if you watch my setting goals video you'll know that we are house hunting at the moment and basically every criteria for the house is oh the cages will look great here and look at all this space where we could have all these play stands, it's got to have a garden where I can grow all these different things for the birds. So. If you have a garden or if you have like a window box or a window sill that you don't have any other plants on at the moment you could grow some herbs on there but it really does save um, some money if you're looking to feed a nice fresh healthy diet for your birds if your birds are a bit fussy and they don't like fruit and veg or herbs or anything that resembles something healthy and alive then i have a video on that about how you can get your birds to eat loads of fruits and vegetables i've got so many tips in there so hopefully one of them will work for you i'll leave a card up top and a link in the description as well Next up is shopping around for your parrot supplies. It may seem obvious. Some people are really kind of brand and shop loyal. I do buy most of my stuff from Northern Parrots. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I've been buying from them since we had the birds and I, I can't fault them. Their customer service is great and also their product range is great and I trust everything I get from them. Not so much from some of the other um, bird kind of shops that I've bought from. Not everyone, but there are a couple that I would not recommend, but I'm not gonna bash anyone here. But I just wanna say that it's worth shopping around because sometimes you can actually find some bargains on Amazon and eBay. It's worth checking the reviews, just making sure it's kind of legit and not from anywhere dodgy or anything unsafe, but you can shop around. And one of the other things that I do as well is use cashback sites. So I use Quidcomb, it's uh, available in the UK. And what happens is you click through the link, say I'm going to Northern Parrots, cause they're on there uh, as are Amazon and eBay. I click on Quidco, um, click on Northern Parrots, go through, and it, at no cost to me, um, I just basically get some money back. And normally I get about two pounds back off my shopping from Northern Parrots on a typical order, which is really cool and it all adds up over time. So if you're interested in joining Quidco, I do have a referral link in the description. If you want to do it, of course, or you can just go your own way, it's totally up to you. But if you go through my link, if you earn five pounds worth of cash back, you get 10 pounds for free. And I get 10 pounds for free, which is gonna go on the birds. So it's totally up to you if you wanna go through that or not. But I wanted to point it out because not a lot of people are aware of sites like Quidco. I think some people are a bit kind of cautious thinking oh you know it's it's a scam or it's going to con me or uh, it's going to cost me um, for that matter it doesn't cost anything it's not a scam it's totally legit and it's worth doing and you can actually shop through there with loads of different sites things like super drug boots that's what i use it for as well things if i am buying anything for me on that rare occasion i always check on quidco if they're on there because it's worth getting a few extra pennies back if you're spending money now sometimes in order to save money you have to spend money which sounds a bit silly but you can actually save money on your seed mixes by buying the components of your seed mixes individually. I shop with Buy Whole Foods online and I buy some seeds individually because I'll give her one of these. These are hemp seeds in here, she loves them, so do the boys. Um, but you can actually buy individual seeds and make your own seed mix. Let's try and open this for her. And it's actually a lot better than buying a lot of the commercial seed mixes if you can afford to buy them all in bulk and of course store them too. Now, a lot of seed mixes are full of rubbish. They're full of sunflower seeds and peanuts and things that have little to no nutritional value or they're really high in fat. The seed mix that I use is the Tidy Mix Budgie Diet. That's probably one of the better ones on the market, but it's not perfect. 
Um, if I again, if I had the space and I had my house that we're looking for, um, then I probably would just buy everything in bulk and just make all my seed mix in one big pot, um, and then I can dish it out as and when because it's it's just so much easier and you can control you know what your birds eating. You can also get some seeds from the supermarket, but it's worth just checking the ingredients list because sometimes they have added salt or sugar or other kinds of things like that. So just check the ingredients list. I do get the training treats I use for pickles. I do use sunflower seeds only for training. It's never in her diet, um, but I get those just from the supermarket. I think they're normally in the baking aisle, just in like a little packet and I use those for her. So it's worth checking in multiple different places where you can get your bits and pieces from and then you can save money in the long term, which a lot of these things do work out better for. Now, as well as buying seeds in bulk and making your own seed mix, you can actually buy pellets in bulk if you use pellets. You don't have to use pellets. They're not the be all and end all. And of course, if you're using pellets, please, 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 I'm begging you, check the ingredients list. There are so many people recommending certain pellet brands, some which I just, I can't stand because they're full of absolute rubbish. Even ones that, you know, say they're natural and lovely. The eighth ingredient is sugar. If you know which one I'm talking about, you know. But basically, please check the ingredients list on your pellets if you're going to use them as part of your diet. But you can buy bigger bags of pretty much every pellet on the market. The only one that I recommend is Topps pellets. You can't really see there. Um, and I buy the three pound bag. Um, it, it lasts me quite a while because I just kind of use pellets in the evening as their kind of evening meal, along with some healthy seed and anything else we've got knocking about. But it's worth buying these things in bulk. If you're worried about it going off in time, you know, you're not going to use it, you can actually freeze pellets. Um, if you put them into an air airtight container, um, you can freeze them so they don't go to waste, and then you can actually use them over a longer period of time and thus saving yourself money. Of course, only if you use pellets. And for any chip and fish fans wondering where they are, they're currently kind of resting in their cage and having a little snooze, a little play, and just generally kind of just hanging out. So I thought I would just show you them because it's always good to make sure all the birds are involved, but they don't always like being out at the same time because Pickles hates the boys. So they're just having a nice little rest. So next up, you can save money on how you clean. Your so it depends which way you want to go through with it. I use this, which is F10. It's an avian safe disinfectant. It's like veterinary strength. It's really, really good. Um, and again, I've been using this um, since we've had the birds and I buy the concentrated version. That means that this lasts for 20 full spray bottles. I think, I can't remember how much these are. I think somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds, which again, sounds like a lot to kind of um, buy out, but actually over long term, it's really affordable and you know that your birds are gonna be safe. However, if you wanna go down the really, really cheap route, you can also use diluted uh, distilled white vinegar with some water and you can use that to clean your birds toys and cage and everything and that's fully safe. But I prefer to use the F10 just because you know, I can and why not? But also I really don't like the smell of vinegar. So I prefer not to use that. Why are you so interested pickles? Hmm? Yeah, you're not licking that. So you can use vinegar or you can use F10, but uh, it's just another way of deciding how you want to save your money, whether you want to buy again in bulk um, and then dilute down, or if you just want to buy something super cheap like vinegar, because it is really cheap. It's, it's less than a pound for a bottle like that. It might even be like something like 50p if you can find it. And yeah, you can just dilute that into a spray bottle as well with some water. One of the other ways that you can save money, which we can't really do at the moment, which is really sad, but you can go to bird fairs. Uh, the one that I go to is Think Parrots, which is at Kempton Park Racecourse. Um, we went last year and we absolutely loved it. I got to meet Mikey the Macaw, which is awesome. Um, and I also bought loads of goodies. I'm gonna insert like two pictures now of me and Mikey and the goodies I bought. But the great thing about these shows is they often have special prices for the goodies that you may already buy your birds or things you might want to try but don't necessarily want to um, buy kind of outright. They do really good prices. Um, you can get in touch with loads of different businesses. You can get deals on loads of different things. So it's really worth heading along. If you have a local bird fair, I would highly recommend going along to one because they are great fun as well and you can meet and see loads of different birds. We were supposed to be going to the one this year, but of course everything happened, which is really sad. But we will be going to Think Parrots next year, assuming all goes ahead, so fingers crossed. This might be one that people are really aware of, but I want to make you aware, just in case you're not, which is you can get reduced fruit, veg and herbs in the supermarket at a certain point in the day. Now every supermarket is different, 
and they'll reduce things at different times of the day. Sometimes they'll reduce halfway kind of in the morning and then they'll do it to like 75% off in the evening. And not all of these vegetables are gonna go off immediately. They might still last for a few days. So you could make a small batch of chop if you're starting to get your bird interested in veggies or kind of chopping on the day as well. That can be really good as well. So for example, one of the things that you're most likely to find in the reduced section, because people don't really buy them, but they are amazing for your birds, are herbs. So I've got this packet of mint here from Asda. I think it was about 45p, but when it gets reduced, it gets to something like silly, like, I don't know, 10p or less. Uh, because people don't always buy these kinds of herbs in these packets, I know the plastic isn't great for the environment, but if they're gonna be reduced, we may as well put it to good use for our babies. So um, my bird's favorites are mint and rosemary. So I'd highly recommend, if you happen to be passing a supermarket at the time that they're reducing all of their fruit and veg, why not pop in and see what you can get? And you might even find something different, as long as it's safe, that you can try with your birds and uh, see if they like it a reduced cost so you're not wasting loads of money and my last tip is making DIY toys or buying bigger toys and breaking them down into smaller toys that saves you money so I actually bought a big toy from a toy retailer and it was all of these bits of loofah and there were I think there were four I've got one kind of in use over there there were four big strands with um, loads of loofah on cotton rope which I don't recommend so what I did was I bought this toy cut it all off of the cotton rope and I restrung it onto some paper rope that I already had. Um, I've got loads of these toy clips that I already have so I didn't need them. And then I have, you know, four separate toys that I can use over time. What do you think, Pickles? Is it nice? <laughs> the boys really like this. Pickles is a little bit unsure because it's so big compared to her. But sometimes buying bigger toys, as long as the strength of the wood is suitable for your bird, for example, I wouldn't necessarily buy really, really hard wood for my birds because they prefer softer wood but if you can buy toys that have softer wood or other kind of components to them that are suitable for your bird size you can buy this big toy break it down either use the same um, string it comes on if it's hemp or jute um, or you can restring it onto paper rope if it's that as well and then you've got loads of different toys that you can use. You can mix them up. They don't always have to look similar like mine do if you've got other different parts. And that's what I wanted to lead on to as well. I have a video um, I made with my boyfriend, David. Again, if you haven't checked out his channel, link is in the description. Make sure you head on over there. He would love some support over there. It'd be really cool. He makes parrot content too, but it's all different to mine. So you're gonna get lots of different parrot content. So that'd be really cool. But we actually made a video together called Cheap and Easy DIY Bird Toys because it's caught my hair. Um, and for some reason people loved it, it's got so many views and I'm really happy that people are enjoying it because saving money with bird toys is so, so useful because they can really add up. Um, there are some bird toys I would recommend which are really affordable, which are, I've talked about these loads, the Rosewood Woven Wonders, also known as Planet Pleasures, they're really, really affordable, they're natural, they're fantastic, all of my birds love them. But if you're looking to kind of see what you've got at home. You can actually make bird toys out of some of the things you have around the house that could be um, egg cartons, toilet rolls, that kind of thing. So I've got a video all about that. Um, so I'll leave a card at the top and a link in the description. Make sure you go over there and let me know if you make any of the toys as well. We'd love to uh, find out how you got on with them. So I hope you found some of these tips useful. Again, if you knew them already, that's fantastic because saving money on parrot care is really, really important and easy to do when you know how. But I just wanted to make anyone aware who's not aware of these tips because it's always good to save money. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Let me know how you're doing in the comments because I'd love to chat to you and hear about how your birds are doing as well. But from me and Pickles, who's currently hiding on the chair, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.